Hey guys, welcome back to today's Dollar Tree video and you are not gonna wanna miss this shop with me. Okay, so this Dollar Tree has such amazing stuff. I was blown away, you guys. I could not believe the stuff I found and the fact that Dollar Tree has these items, like, and was truly blown. So I have to share with you guys all the amazing items I found this week for just $1. My stores are still a dollar here. I think they're going to change in January. But in the meantime, let's check out Dollar Tree and share with you guys all the amazing finds this week. You are not going to want to miss this one. Some of the items look like stuff that you would get at like a higher end store. So let's get on into it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new my name is Kim and I love Dollar Tree content I have an entire Instagram called at Dollar Tree Dolly D-O-L-L-I-E I will link it down below I share all my Dollar Tree finds and then on this channel I share with you guys shop with me's hauls and other fun Dollar Tree things so I know you guys are probably curious and excited so let's go into Dollar Tree all right, so this video is jam-packed with Christmas finds. I found these adorable plates. I hadn't seen these before, but these are so cute. They were like kind of a plasticky material. They also had these larger serving platters, and I love these cute little paper napkins. And I also found this adorable elf wrapping paper, and I love that it had all the characters from elf on it. And then this one was another favorite. It's this Frosty the Snowman paper. And again, had all the characters from the movie. This is such a classic. And I was like giggling to myself when I saw this because it was so precious. Then I found these wine bottle bags, which of course you don't have to use these for wine. You could just use it as a regular gift bag. And I thought these were so cute. And then they also had some really fun gift bags. This one said reindeer aviation. And I thought that was adorable. I also loved this snowman in the little truck. And this snowman bag and then there was like this glittery one. There are so many options to choose from Love these little reindeers. I Also found these really cute glittery red truck bags. I Loved this bag. It said rejoice Christ is born. It's really hard to find these kinds of bags for Christmas that have like little scriptures on them and manger scenes and here's another one with a manger scene that I thought was so pretty and then this one I thought was really cute too there every store I go to I always find new options for Christmas bags but honestly I recommend waiting if you can stocking up after when they're on sale for 50% off then I found these really cute velvet bows. I loved these. They were just so different from what I'm used to seeing. Like a crushed velvet. Very, very cute. I also like this gift paper. You don't get too many in there, but I did like the patterns and the little Christmas trees and the plaid. And then here is another set of paper. I had never seen these gnome sweater stockings before and I was in love with these. They had this gray color with a little gnome beard. So cute. It's crazy how each store you go to you find different Christmas things. So each store has like a different setup that Dollar Tree plans out. And these little ornaments I have shown you guys I think in the past that these little skiing snowmans. This is like one of the first things I found like I think back in October when they just started putting everything out. shocker more gnomes these are little ceramic little dudes that i had never seen until i went to this store so that's why i was in love with this store because i had seen things i'd never seen before and they also had one with a blue hat these were really nice quality i also love these mini wreaths they remind me of something that you would see at like kirkland's so nice again really really just like lovely quality on those and then they have their standard little like tinsel decorations that they do every single year obviously like these aren't my favorite but um, I really did like this sign though this I think is a repeat from last year but it's a little camper 
One of my favorite things has to be these cookie plates. I had never seen this one before. It said cookies for Santa. These are such high quality, you guys. Really nice plates. And this one I have also found previously. I think I showed this to you guys, but I actually did buy this one like a couple months ago. And it is so nice. The illustration and the quality of these plates is just beautiful. And there is the brand. It's called Royal Knuckle. And then I found these little cups. These are more like kitty cups. And they have the little like built in straw. This was another new find for me, this mug that says Slay in it. Again, I had only found this at this one particular store. I don't know what it is, but they had really like interesting stuff. I also love these clear plates. And then here was another thing that I had never seen before. They were these light up Christmas cups and it was so fun. Like I would just imagine like drinking water in these and they also had like a gnome design. So it's just crazy that I found new stuff every single time I went to the store. And then this one was a little Buffalo check truck and farmhouse. Really, really cute. And then another new thing was this Holly dish drying mat. I had never seen this either and I just loved it. And I thought it was so cute and festive. I think Holly print is just a lot of fun. So I picked that up for sure. And it's just great for, you know, to have that in your kitchen for the Christmas time. Then I found these cute little light up icicles, which I thought were so much fun. And then I love the iridescent ornaments this year. I think I shared these with you guys previously as well. And this was like one of the first things I found when I was Christmas shopping, when they first started putting out stuff, these cute little iridescent reindeers. Oh my goodness. I love them. Okay, then I went over to the like school section and I found these really fun little whiteboard magnets and it had each day of the week on them. This one, they also had like a bunch of different designs. I love that it includes the dry erase pen. And then this one also, you can like plan out your whole week and then put it on the refrigerator. You can also do meal planning. Another wine bag. This one is a red buffalo check pattern and they also had a larger print. so cute and then here are just some fun cozy unicorn socks i found this really fun light bulb terranium which was another new thing i had never seen this before so so cool so um let me know if you guys have ever tried one of these little terraniums before then I found these hexagon mirrors, which I just thought were really fun. You could definitely do a DIY with these. You can use it as a perfume tray. These little signs. This glassware I had also never seen before. It was kind of cool. It was like this speckled white kind of design. So you could put tea lights in there or you can use it as like a little holder for whatever you want. But they had a couple different colors. I also really love their iridescent glass holders. These are also more on the new side, but they do have a couple different color, like iridescent colors to choose from. And then here are some more little votive candle holders. These guys I have seen before, but they are cute. The mason jar with the tea light holder. And then these candles were so fun. I loved the pattern with like the ribbed kind of detail. I feel like you can make this look really cute in a house. And I loved this color as well. These are new room sprays. They have cherry blossom. This one is ocean breeze. These are also a repeat find, but I just think they are so fun. They're like these little cement gold holders. This is a fun little succulent. Uh, I think it's like a, a candle. I don't know if, if I would like ever light that, but to me, it's something that's just like a little tchotchke that's for fun and for show. This is new from Crafter Square. It's the Craft Scraper, and this is great if you have a silhouette or a Cricut machine, and they also have it in pink. In the book section had so much cute stuff, like this retro sweater book, and I just shared you guys a couple pages so you could see, but they had some cute books. This one retailed for $15. This is a dog book. It was kind of a mess, but I found some cute things. This is a clay book. Some of these books are really expensive. 
This is a cat book. Handmade cat crafts. That one also retailed for $17. This was a really cool book. It was called Miller's Guide to Glass and basically helps you identify different types of glass. Um, so I was just kind of browsing it. Very interesting. And then this is the vinyl section at the Crafter Square. And this was a new one I had never seen before. This is the leopard vinyl. I was like freaking out when I saw it. This was definitely on my my list of like wish list items and it is so cute. A lot of people told me that they haven't found this yet so I felt like I really scored with this final find. And I think I've showed you guys the glitter ones but these are also amazing. I cannot believe they have glitter vinyl at Dollar Tree. I still have to test it though on my machine. I haven't used my machine in a little bit. Okay, moving over to the hair section which was fire. I found amazing stuff really really cute headbands they had so many new designs out so this is just like a fun little leopard twisty headband and then here were some suede headbands and then i loved these these are the leopard twist headbands i honestly don't think you can go wrong with these i was so shocked to find all these cute like leather hair accessories at Dollar Tree. This I was freaking out over. They had these amazing Sherpa headbands. So cute. Oh my goodness. I had to get like every color and I loved the pink. Oh, just precious. These are new little square barrettes. I thought these were adorable. And then these were actually like fuzzy leopard hair clips. You guys see like I was in heaven. It was so much fun. And they had all the Sherpa matching hair clips to the headbands i love that they do that they match like hair clips and scrunchies and then here are the matching sherpa scrunchies which i think these came out i think last year because i have all of these as well and they are just the coziest like best winter scrunchie ever so i love this collection and i think whoever is in charge of the hair department does such an amazing job picking out all the, the cute items they even had matching leather scrunchies like what what a cute little accessory to rock they also had these mini leather scrunchies that came in a pack of three in the beauty skin section, I found this Global Beauty Care Cucumber Gel Mask. I really like this brand. They do have some good stuff, and it is a name brand. So I always like to, you know, see if they have anything that I would try. They had tons of these Restore and Repair Overnight Lavender and Vanilla Masks. I have found this before at another store, but they were so fully stocked here, so... They also have these really fun satin sleeping masks. Here are some Bolero Shimmer Body Mists that each have their own individual scent. And of course, Ioni Lashes are a must-have. And this makeup section, though, it was like the only part of the store that really wasn't good. I also found the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This Lucky Witch Hazel Solution I had actually never seen before, so I thought that, that was a pretty good find. These Crayola Band-Aids I thought were the cutest. And then just a couple more Global Beauty Care finds. You could see they had so, so many of them. This is the Retinol Skin Cream. Clay Face Mask. So let me know if you guys have any favorites from Spa Scriptions. This is the Peel Off Black Mask for Men. I didn't even know that they sold Cool Whip in the freezer section. I was like, wait, what? This can't be real, but it is the actual name brand. And I love these little like strawberry shortcake bars that they had. I used to be obsessed with those when I was younger. And then just a couple other things I found that I thought were interesting in the frozen food section. These little baskets are so perfect for making like a gift basket of stuff and or items. And they also had it in black. Really nice size. And I still just love these baskets. I think they are so, so cute. Here it is in black as well. And then here is more of like a rectangular version. I just remember we were all freaking out when they launched these this past year. I also found this Olive Garden Italian dressing, which I was like, 
wait, what? <laughs> that is so cool. But a lot of people told me you can get just a big bottle at Walmart. But I thought this actually might be good for like lunches or on the go because it comes with in that little peelable top. So I thought that was pretty, pretty neat. And then just some new little glassware that I found. I thought this one was cute. Some vinegar bottles. I feel like this is something I really don't see too often. And then I love that they also had a plain version because you could DIY it. And then lastly, I found the cutest kitchen towels. And this one was like the dog version. And then this was the cat version. And I thought that was really funny. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me. Let me know what you like the best. And I'll see you next time. Bye.